let us start with the consolidation what is consolidation when a soil is loaded externally then the entire water get spilled out uh, but in case of clay soil sample this will take a long time for the entire water to get expelled because of the low permeability of the soil this leads to the settlement occurring over a long time initially the settlement will be rapid but later on the settlement will be constant which could be of several years but in case of clays it take a long time for the entire water to get expelled in granular soil, granular soil are freely drained and thus the settlement is instantaneous. So the settlement will be constant nature. So when a soil is loaded externally, uh, total stress will be constant, pore water pressure uh, decreases and effective stress increases. So this is a symmetric graph showing total stress, pore water pressure and effective stress over the time. Total, uh, total stress is constant, pore water pressure decreases so effective stress increases consolidation is a one dimensional in nature as assumed by Tazagi so drainage and deformation will be vertical there will be nothing like lateral sense a simplification for solving the consolidation pro pro problem why we are taking this one dimensional consolidation so that there will be uh, simplification in our computations so water is squeezing out vertically in one directional so this is a schematic diagram showing delta H versus delta E relation. So average vertical strain will be delta H by H naught. So change in thickness to the original thickness. So this is a saturated clay. Void ratio is equal to E naught in the initial stage. And later on the void ratio changes to E naught minus delta E that is at infinite time. We are considering an element where volume of solid is equal to 1 initially. And we are computing the average vertical strain as delta E by 1 plus E naught. Now what we will be doing, we will uh, equate the both the expression del delta H by H naught is equal to delta E upon 1 plus E naught and we will compute the settlement that is delta H is equal to H naught delta E upon 1 plus E naught. So now what is co coefficient of volume compressibility? Coefficient of volume compressibility is denoted by mv and it is defined as the ratio of the volumetric strain in a clay element per unit increase in the stress mv. The unit of mv will be kilopascal inverse and or megapascal inverse and it is equal to delta V by V upon delta sigma per unit increase in stress the change in the volumetric strain that is coefficient of volume compressibility now simulation of 1D field consolidation test in lab so this is undisturbed soil specimen you are taking this undisturbed soil specimen in lab and above and below you are placing the porous stone and this specimen is loaded vertically and diameter of the oidometer is 50 to 75 mm and height of high sample is 20 to 30 mm now you are increasing the loading in increments and again you will uh, then you will unload the specimen and finally you will re reload the specimen so you will be getting a graph between e and log sigma so this is the loading in increment and you are computing delta e1 delta e2 delta e3 in successive is uh, ratios now this is the unloading case where the specimen is swelling this is a plot between E and log sigma V dash plot. So this is the loading case. This is unloading case. While you are loading the specimen, uh, pore water pressure get decreased. So there will be increase in the effective stress. And while you are unloading the specimen, there is an increase in the pore water pressure. So if, if effective stress decreases. This is a swelling case and this is shrinking case. So along this line, you will uh, you will be getting compression index and decompression index. The soil is experiencing more pressure at this point. Earlier the word ratio was E naught. Now this word ratio changes to some other thing. And then this is compression index EC. This is recompression index. So what is pre-consolidation pressure? Pre-consolidation pressure is the maximum vertical effective stress the soil element has ever been subjected to. So this is the present stresses that are more than the past stresses. And this present stresses is more in comparison to the past stresses. So this is pre-consolidation pressure denoted by sigma P dash. So what is virgin consolidation line? Virgin consolidation line is a line that or if we can call it as a slope along this compression index line CC. Over consolidation ratio. Over consolidation ratio as we know that it is the ratio of the present stresses to the past stresses. So this is over consolidation ratio is equal to 1 along this virgin consolidation line. This is virgin consolidation line. Why this OCR is equal to 1? Because this is a point corresponds to pre-consolidation pressure. Thank you.